difference. So I've had it in my heart and my mind to film a morning routine video for you guys for quite a while. I feel like a lot has changed in my morning routine or it's become a bit different, a bit more flexible, a bit just not something that I've necessarily talked about in this scope. So we're gonna talk through it. I'm gonna kind of talk through the foundational things, the things that I shift and expand on as needed and what I find has really helped just give me the best mindset overall to really put me in the best headspace to keep me moving forward to help you know kind of tamper down the anxiety to make sure that I'm really setting myself up for being in the best headspace that really keeps me from getting into those low maybe depressive kind of states these are things that work for me so the first thing that I do is actually get back in bed normally I get up I go pee depending on what time Asher has decided that he wants to go outside I might have already gotten up and let him out and like gone back to bed for another 45 minutes because he's on a really early kick right now but I like to start the first 10 to 15 minutes of my day just letting my mind wake up really listening just kind of it's the best time for me to check in with my intuition it's one of the few times I find that I let myself be fully quiet I'm not distracted I'm not necessarily meditating because I feel like meditation for me is really more breath focused and kind of recentering myself this is the time when I'm really just listening and a little bit more vulnerable the world hasn't seeped in for me and I hear a lot of things that maybe I wouldn't hear in other times it's like the most quiet when the universe can be like hey the thing you're ignoring psst, let's talk about it right now so I normally start my day with that I will grab my phone sometimes I will put on a playlist like I'll put on ocean waves I'll put on fire sounds depending on the day I might put on the insight app as like kind of a meditation background I've really been loving this manifesting playlist I will link it down in the description box below I find that I'm really sensitive to the waves of a song so I really like the manifesting playlist because it's kind of it's kind of on the same level there's nothing like big emotional swell wise going on and I'll do that I'll listen to that and then from there I typically check my aura ring that's like a habit of mine right now I'm a little obsessed with tracking my sleep and it's something that's really helped me look at how my habits in the day are adding up because I'm trying to make some shifts in my overall eating habits and just checking in with what I'm doing I find that a lot of those things really impact my mental health and my sleep so I will sync my ring, I will check in on that, I will see what's going on, I'll see if I actually slept as long as I thought I did, if maybe I had something yesterday, like if I had more caffeine than I thought, then maybe I need to be more mindful for the day, just kind of give myself that extra information to check in. And then from those two points is really where things are a bit more fluid in the day. So if I'm feeling good, like if I'm kind of just chill ready to go I still want to start my day slowly I like to start my day kind of in a chill vibe I don't like to rush anything I spend a lot of time being in that like anxious just automatic go place so to really keep my cortisol levels down I try to stay in the flow um if I'm in that space right now I'm really loving my affirmations list and I have a google doc of just a bunch of the affirmations that I'm going through with money mentality makeover some ones that are really vibing for me right now so I'm just retraining my brain and so I will sit and I will read through those and just literally just read through them and connect with them and speak with them and kind of go through the process of that. If I'm in a space where I wake up and I'm just like, something feels off, like something, maybe I had a subconscious thought, maybe I had a dream, maybe I had something I need to work through, I will grab my journal. And this is why I say my morning routine is a little bit more flexible and different than it is every single day because there's three things that I tend to do every day I tend to have some kind of meditation some kind of movement and then if we're keeping the M's up and we want to embrace like Amy Landino's good mornings um, mastery but I wouldn't necessarily qualify what I do as mastery but I tend to have some kind of movement in the morning and this morning when I woke up that was going for a run with a friend we we're starting to do that together I'm really excited about it. it's really new for me that's something that's come out of some of the stuff that I've really been journaling and affirming and changing for myself um but if I wake up and I'm in that maybe like not as great of a headspace thing I will go for a walk and then push my workout later in the day because I know there's a certain time that I really want to be at the gym for it to be as calm as I want it to be and to not feel it being so crowded so those two things are really contingent on my morning if it's a morning where I'm in just a weird headspace I will go through and write it out try to like process it out try to 
ask myself where I think it came from, really just go through it. I'm going to put some journal prompts on the blog of just things that kind of help break through things that have really helped me in the last few months when I'm just like, I feel this emotional something and I just feel like I need to let it go. I need to cleanse it but I need a thing, a tool to help me do that. So I've had a few things that I've been using recently for mornings like that specifically that have just come to me and I'm loving them. So I'm definitely gonna share those. So I will link those down below, but it's either affirmations or that. And then from there, I like to do my visualizations. If it doesn't happen in the morning, I'll do them later. I did them this morning in the shower and then I'm either off to the gym or I'm going for a walk. And the two things that I like to do there are either listen to a podcast, listen to an audiobook, or maybe listen to some kind of training that I'm in. So I love Masterclass. I have that as well as I'm going through Money Mentality Makeover right now. And so there's tons of videos there. So typically I'll listen to something in that depending on what I need. Every now and again, it might be like a funny podcast, but I tend to save those videos for like either books or like fully relaxing or maybe breaks later. But I try to give myself things that like fill my cup. That's where the mastery category is for me in the morning. I really want to set the tone of the energy for my day and really the things that I'm taking in and kind of just keep myself in that like good vibe space. So right now I'm really looking to expand my mind on manifesting and just what that looks like science wise what that looks like brain wise all of the scope of that so a lot of the content that i'm consuming right now is around that as well as just people who have these incredible journeys i tend to like to consume a lot of things where people have done these amazing things or they've come through these stories i find that the hope keeps me inspired but it also just gives me a new mindset for pursuing stuff. I love those kind of stories. Those are like a big thing for me. And then from there, I will come home and I will have breakfast. Typically by now, I am already on social media, at least on Instagram. I've normally gotten on, I've normally said hi to you guys. I normally kind of like popped on and checked the basics, responded to my good morning snaps from my other friends. And I'm not spending tons of time on it, but I do try to spend a little bit of time at breakfast, kind of engaging and just saying hi and checking in and seeing what's going on and starting my day that way. And then from there, I kind of go with the flow. I'll check in on what I feel like I need to do for the day. I'll really adapt. The biggest thing that I found in my morning routine is A, making it flexible for me. Really giving myself the space to have time to shift from my mindset. I used to be so about the fact that I had to go to the gym first thing in the morning. And at the time that was really important for the environment that I was living in and giving myself the opportunity to stir up my energy in the way that I needed to because it got me out of the house before everybody woke up in the morning. It meant that at least for that first 30 minutes or whatever time, I could always guarantee that my energy started a certain day, a certain way. Now I have a little bit more flexibility and I really just like to give myself the space to acknowledge my emotions. So that might mean that my morning four mile walk or my daily four mile walk goes down to like a 30 minute walk in the morning just to kind of chill that out. But creating the like pinpoints but having the flexibility is been the biggest thing for me. So I know that we all have different things that really add and share and change our morning. I feel like there are a lot of really good playlists, a lot of really good affirmations. Just creating the energy in the space for me has been so helpful. Making sure that I'm mindful about everything on all of the levels of what I'm listening to, what I'm consuming. Maybe it's doing one of the meditations on Peloton. I love some of those because they're very mantra based. There's five minute ones, there's 10 minute ones. Those are a variety. I definitely want to start adding some breath work into my morning routine. I really want to get my body to a place where it can handle anxiety a little bit better more naturally and I don't feel like I need to take like a full pause. Sometimes I am very much somebody who can like overstimulate myself but the foundation of my morning routine is acknowledging where I'm at, checking in with myself, seeing how I need to proceed for the day. That is the goal. And then from there, everything else is icing on the cake. But I want to always have that space and time to check in with myself because otherwise you get caught in that sea of just doing and doing and doing and doing and doing and you're so far down the path that you're like, oh crap, I'm in a hole. I don't know how I got to this hole and I need to dig myself out. And the motivation I might've had is like a month back there and I didn't catch this. So for me, I found that that's major is literally just giving myself time to wake up and say, I'm good, I'm bad, I need to shift this mindset, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to like make adjustments, but because I've given myself that like extra five to 10 minutes in the morning to do that, it's a little bit easier to shift it before it becomes something that like takes over my day because I can acknowledge it, 
stop and change it. We have it as a very different morning routine. I know that it's not usual for a lot of people. I'm always changing and tweaking and adding and I had a long time where I felt like I couldn't get back to my pre-pandemic morning routine and I really didn't need to. Like I really needed to change it and the one that I have now feels the best for me. I feel the most energetically aligned. I feel the most mentally aligned. I feel the most joyous because I'm creating space for myself to say I'm okay or I'm not okay and I'm being honest with myself. And that's, that's a big deal for me. I don't know if it's a big deal for you guys, let me know, but it's something I'm really enjoying about my morning routine right now. So yeah, I love you guys. Let me know if you want more morning routine videos, more daily routine videos, anything like that, anything like routines when I feel anxious, I'm down to film whatever routine it will help you guys so let me know in the comments below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because it helps support my channel don't forget to subscribe i upload new videos once a week and if you want to get like a weekly motivation i do have a weekly newsletter i send that out on sundays and it's just a way for us to all come into the week feeling like our best selves feeling empowered and it's something i really enjoy and i love about our community so i will leave that link in the description box below but i love you guys it is a good day to have a good day and i hope you all have a beautiful day wherever you are bye guys